The future of Tandem Diabetes is looking pretty bright. They just revealed more details about their future pipeline, specifically timing for Moby for Android, Tubeless Moby, the sequel to Control IQ, and they even introduced the concept of Moby 2.0. These details come from their recent Q3 earnings call. I'll explain what was said about those four things I just mentioned, and I'll also end by telling you about two things that I was surprised were not mentioned on the call at all. So let's get into it. First off, Android users rejoice because they announced that they expect FDA approval of the Android app before the end of the year. To be honest, I was starting to get worried they'd miss their 2025 timeline, but they're still on track and that Android support should really help them as they move to international markets in 2026. Next up, Tandem is really prioritizing the approval of Moby Tubeless, and they are hoping to submit it for a 510k submission by the end of this year. By my estimation, if all goes smoothly, that translates to hopefully an approval in the spring or summer of 2026. Thankfully, Tandem will be scaling up manufacturing at the same time as they're awaiting FDA approval, so there shouldn't be too long of a gap between approval and shipping times. Next up, Tandem had previously announced a partnership with the University of Virginia, who, if you didn't know, were the creators of the original Control IQ algorithm. Tandem hopes to bring their new fully closed loop algorithm to the Tandem Pump platform and are planning to launch the pivotal trials necessary to get FDA approval sometime in 2026. Just as a quick refresher, a fully closed loop algorithm does not require user input. And as you can see from the quote here, their vision for fully closed loop is to allow people to interact with their pump as much or as little as they would like. Lastly, Tandem provided an update on the Siggy patch pump they have in development. And for the first time that I'm aware of, they stated that from a commercial perspective, we anticipate marketing this pump as our next generation Moby. This effectively means that the Siggy is essentially gonna become Moby 2.0, which honestly, kind of makes sense to me. Now, there were two things that I didn't find any mention of in the call. First, there was no mention of the X3 or the next generation to the X2 pump, which may mean the X3 is no longer in development because it actually has fallen off the Innovations in Progress website. The second thing that was unmentioned was integration with the 15-day version of the Dexcom G7, which should be coming out before the end of this year. Now this one I'm less concerned about because Dexcom and Tandem have always played well with each other. And Tandem's always been pretty good about offering support and integration with different devices as early as possible. So I'd be pretty shocked and disappointed if they didn't support the Dexcom G7 15 day when it launches. What do you think about Tandem's pipeline?